Hi there, Earth Signs. Welcome. I am Tanya Lee of Harmonia Tarot, and we are on your weekly for August 26th to the end of August the 31st. I cannot believe we're here already, but we are at the end of August, Earth Signs. So this is a collective reading for the Earth Signs. Um, this can be your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and if you are a cross-watcher, you are welcome to be here. Um, this is for Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus for the weekly. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit subscribe so that you can be subscribed for future notifications of readings. I uh, upload quite frequently, weeklies and monthlies, and occasionally I feel drawn to do dailies as well. All right, so this is what happens with the collective, okay? Time is always in motion. It may start coming up a little bit now. It may be for, you know, not exactly within the week or within a couple of weeks. It's just, it's always in motion. So just be open-minded to it. As always, please utilize your own intuition when you are listening, okay? So if it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, just leave the rest. And if it doesn't resonate at all, it just means this reading was not for you, okay? Don't forget to hit that like button, and if it does resonate, I always love to read comments. So I am in tune to the energy of the earth sign. I've already shuffled, and I've meditated, and let's see what messages we have for August 26th for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. What messages? Calling in our ancestors, our guides, our ascendant masters. Can you give us clear messages for the week of August 26th? What do we have? Come to the edge. Always reminds me of fool energy, taking a risk, taking a leap. Being open-minded to new beginnings. A change in the wind. Deep knowing. All right, our signs. Come to the edge. Do you see how she's dangling on the edge, but she's got uh, um, the petals are kind of flowing in the wind. So there's definitely movement. I'm feeling a lot of movement. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like there's something new in the horizon. There's something that is coming about. And that's because you have the change of the wind. And the way that these laid on next to each other, it's almost like it's pushing towards this, okay? So maybe somebody is fighting a little bit the changes, not quite sure yet, but it's, you know, it is, it, it is happening. There is a change that is about to happen. There is something that is very whimsical about this change, okay? But there might still feel like there is something stopping you, something blocking you. But <clears throat> what... I do feel strongly about is this deep knowing. This is all about intuition. This is all about receiving knowledge. We have here, you know, an owl on the moon. This is about getting downloads, getting information, having, in, in, you know, getting insight, having downloads that bring you insight to new beginnings. So I feel like you know that this change is about, that it's coming, that there is a change that is coming and you're aware of it and you know it's risky, but it's almost like, should I go for it? I mean, risks are a little bit scary sometimes. Sometimes fear holds us back more than anything, right, Earth signs? All right, let's see what the tarot has to say. I'm going, this is, I'm just gonna do a slow shuffle and then I'm going to split the deck for this one. All right, let's split the deck. <clears throat> We have Messenger of the Earth reversed, Five of Fire, Ace of Fire reverse, Transformation, King of Air, Ten of Fire reverse, Six of Earth reversed, <clears throat> Seven of Fire reverse, The Chariot. This motion is happening. 
underneath this, we have the Empress in reverse. Now, <clears throat> maybe there's a feeling of lack because she's all about fertility, about having it all. When you have the Empress, um, you know, you, you, you have somebody who knows their intuition, knows the deep knowing. Um, <clears throat> it's like a birth, right? A birth of something is abundance. But it's reversed. So there may be a feeling of lack, a lack of knowing what's going to happen, resisting that, even though that, you know, deep in your heart you want to do this. Deep in your heart you want this. But it's not quite there yet. Messenger of Earth. This is, um, you know, Earth energy. So this is you, right? But it's, um, so Capricorn, Virgo, and Taurus. I do feel here... Um, with this movement of this messenger, maybe you are um, something something feels like it's coming in, but it's at a stop, okay? Probably at a stop because you're not ready to take that risk. It's falling right underneath this. Five of fire. This is Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo energy. You do have a lot of fire in here, and you also have um, air as well if you're dealing with um, a fire or air sign, which is uh, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. All right, and I think I just said that, and fire, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. All right, so five of fire. This is somebody who's not quite happy. <laughs> this is somebody who might feel a little bit stuck but is, has a burning desire and a passion to have a little bit more. Do you see how she's got something glowing above her? She's got... Um, butterflies and moths around her so there is transformation there is something that is evolving but we do have the ace of fire reverse so this is something a start of something creative something that you're enlightened with but you're you're feeling feeling a little stuck you might have some doubts so this might be a feeling of doubts of wanting to move forward what I do feel, especially with this being in the change in the wind for this week, is that there's a transformation that has ha happened and needed. So there's a transformation that is needed. In order to allow that doubt to go away, right, we need to become more present. We need to have faith. We need to have hope that change is okay and that we, when we resist change, we, we actually put ourselves in more of a block, anxiety-based, okay? What's going to happen, I believe that um, you have the king of air energy around you. This could be an individual who is logical, cold, but analytical. Someone who um, is very strategic and knows the moves. This could be your energy or somebody around you who has that. I feel with the ten of fire here reverse is that you see how she's... Like the, especially for this particular card, and I'm not reading like traditional tarot when I'm reading this. I feel like there's been a lot of options that have been burnt out that were overburdening, whether it was you or another individual. I do feel like um, you have a knowing of what you want, but you have a lot of things that in your past have really... Um, taking these options away from you, okay? And probably because they were some kind of failures in your life or something that was failed, whether it was career or relationship. And you may be pulling in some of your analytical side as to, um, you know, how can I move forward? The six of earth, the deep knowing, this is about <clears throat> abundance and growing towards it, about um, being able to be independent. With this reverse, I feel like there's a lack, a lack of abundance, a lack of something. You have the seven of fire reverse on here. Again, this is kind of like a risk. I mean, you have two cards here that are like this. This is all about being vulnerable and being a risk taker and um, maybe being in something that is uncomfortable, but you're coming out of this. I think that what's going to happen is once you allow this transformation to happen, it's going to move really quickly. This change is going, this change in the wind is going to come in fast, super fast. This also could be a relocation. <clears throat> Let's see what the rider deck has to say on top of this. For those of you who are um, debating a change within a career, 
it might be something where you need to move and that's where these doubts are coming in that you can't have a new start the other thing i'm reading is if um if you are taking a risk in a new relationship and you're worried about it because you've burned your bridges before with other relationships if this is job related it's kind of similar to that relocation thing <clears throat> let's see what we have in regards to this chariot what more insight can we get for our capricorn virgo and taurus signs for the week of august 25th We got the high priestess this is that deep knowing this is um receiving energy something divine juggling there's two of pentacles here this is about having those options it's falling right on that 10 of, of burning being not sure teetering teetering but so here's the thing and i'll look at the bottom of the deck too because i always like to look underneath to to tell a little bit more of the story whether this is you or another individual, but I do feel like this is you or signs, you have that deep knowing, right? You are going, you are trying to, um, this is also a very divine card, the high priestess. This is something where you have to have a lot of faith in, have to have the faith in what's been going on with this juggling that's going on. This fell right on top, that, that two of pentacles right on top of this card, even though it was reversed. I do feel like your options of this is going to be a little bit taken down to two of pentacles, meaning that um, it's going to be still some juggling to do, but you are s slowly going to see what those options are. And the thing is, is once you allow that transformation to come in, boom, ace of wands, you're going to get a new beginning, a new start, a fresh new start. Once you just take that leap. Now you did have the nine of wands next to it. This is somebody who's now put, and then um, they're, you know, what they're telling me is to add this, to make this 10 of wands, because that's a completion, because then you have all your wands, and it's like the burden of just letting it go. I'm feeling that um, this, this person, I'm feeling this is your energy of being very wounded, of being like you've, you're not quite sure if you should do this again. Should I take this leap? Should I do this? Should I take this, take this opportunity to do it? Because I've had so many hardships in my past. Underneath the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. We have a movement. So this transformation is going to happen no matter what, okay? Um, if you decide not to, I think there's going to be something that's going to pu push you forward. It's going to be something that is, um, with, the, uh, with the Six of Pentacles here, is going to give you a balance, okay? This is about all the you know equal give and take of having that scale in place. And with that, once you do that, then you're going to get that page of pentacles, okay? That page of pentacles, although it might seem, now pages that are usually small, a younger energy, earth, this is obviously earth signs. I do feel like you're going to be stable. You might have a little bit of hardships of if you are relocating or, um, you know, seeing, you know, if this is possible, should I have taken this risk? But you have justice here. And with justice, with when you allow and you trust when you trust in the universe to have your back and because you have that inner knowing and because you followed your heart and although you might have pulled in that analytical guy here or if this is somebody around you who might have showed you some strategies to get there, you have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is all about completion, having everything. Happy life, abundance, fruition. It's all here for you, our signs. I'm going to pull a couple of healing cards and an animal spirit for the week of August 26 for you. Let's see what we have for our signs. Guardian. Card number 44. Your guides in the universe are with you. They are watching you. That justice that's coming in, you have to accept this. This is acceptance. Allow this transformation to come about, okay? You have the guardian here. The guardian is being watched over, supportive, 
seeing this movement that you want to do, I really feel like somebody is relocating here in a big dream, in a big way. I really feel that. I feel like it's in a really big way. And then when you have that acceptance, you are allowing, and there's a lot of green in this, so this is having your heart chakra open. I do feel like, um, Earth signs, that when your heart is open, and you see how she's kind of leaning back, and she's like going in the wind, and she's still moving forward. This is trust. This is trust. This is accepting that you're going to get there no matter what, whatever you choose, right? It's just accepting. It's that ability to have that deep knowing. All right, air signs. If this resonated for you, go ahead and comment below. I always read all of my comments. Like it if you like. And um, also, just a reminder, I do have a Facebook group. I go live typically on Sundays and Monday nights, um, and that's called Harmonia Tarot. So if you want to see a collective reading or a chance for some, you know, card pull, go ahead and join that group as well. All right, I appreciate you hopping on. Have a good one. Take care.